How's it going? Welcome back to another moveset guide video and today we are going to be covering the Hydreigon. Alright, so for the first set we have is a timid nature with max speed, 252 speed, 252 special attack with the held item wise glasses. Now wise glasses is an item that I believe is new because I've never heard of it until I covered or I looked into Hydreigon. But I thought it was a really cool uh, item which older special attacks have 1.1 times power which is really cool it's nothing like choice specs where uh choice specs i believe is point i know it does a little bit more yeah it's 1.5 but with choice specs you'll be able to get locked into a move which is not that great for this set i guess i should say because we have nasty block and if we have choice specs on this set we're going to be locked into nasty plot and that's not what we want so wise glasses can be a really cool substitute for that um but yeah for the first set or for the first moves we have nasty plot uh dark pulse and draco meteor being our stab now the cool thing about nasty plot and draco meteor is that if you end up going for a nasty plot and then you draco meteor your special attack is going to drop by two which is what we gained from the nasty plot so you'll still be back at you'll be back at neutral and looking at Hydreigon special attack it's actually still really good so uh yeah and then we have the fire blast to hit pokemon like the grass types uh ferret thorn as well and i have superpower nicknamed on here just in case i don't forget but feel free to run superpower on the Hydreigon. it's actually really good and it'll throw opponents off they won't expect it Mainly because Tyranitar usually comes in on a Hydreigon. Knowing that if it is a special offensive Hydreigon, the um, Tyranitar tends to have the, um, what is it? The Assault Vest with the Sand Stream. It's, it just has a lot of special defense uh, boost and superpower will definitely throw it off. And it's four times weak with good amount of power. Moving on to the next set is a, okay, it's a physical set. I know it's not common, but it's pretty creative, okay? And it's not bad in physical attack, but it's not common. But feel free to be that uncommon person to run a Dragon Dance Hydreigon, because I believe Dragon Dance is new for Hydreigon this generation. So feel free to run a physical, but we do have a set for it. Now, if you plan on Dynamaxing Hydreigon, we have Iron Tail, so you don't have to worry about accuracy. Um, of course, you can Dragon Dance still and then go for the Iron Tail, but the accuracy for Iron Tail is 75%, which is not that great, but I guess the power is rewarding and the effect but it's only 30% chance to lower the target's defense by one. But it's coverage for the fairy types or anything else that you think might be uh, super effective. We have our two stabs, Crunch and Outrage. Outrage is actually a really strong physical move and it lasts two to three turns, continues after, continues the user afterwards. So we have Lumberry to, um, To get rid of the confusion when it comes to um, outrage because after two to three turns it ends up getting uh, confused so we'll be able to get rid of the confusion with the uh, lumber now the only issue that I have with the outrage is obviously the confusion along with let's say you know your opponent has fairy Pokemon I mean if you already know your opponent has fairy Pokemon then you don't want to outrage so typically what i would do is you know knock out all the pokemon that are resistant to outrage because you get locked in so if you knock out a gudra with outrage and they have a fairy pokemon they're going to come out with the fairy pokemon and you won't be able to switch out because you're locked into outrage so you're pretty much screwed hydracon dies to whatever fairy move comes out so i recommend you knocking out anything that's resistant to the uh outrage and you know 
when all that is gone, you can set up the Dragon Dance and potentially just sweep. Um, but again, typically not ran as a physical Hydreigon, but feel free to do any changes that you like. I just thought it was pretty creative to, to run something like that. Uh, but nonetheless, feel free to change uh, Iron Tail for Superpower, depending on what you're trying to go after, or any other physical moves that Hydreigon can learn. So like, we have Acrobatics, we have Aqua Tail. I, I, I guess Acrobatics would be really good, since we would get rid of the Lumberry with Outrage at some point. Um, but yeah, we could also get like Max Airstream. We can set up Rain with Aqua Tail. Uh, there's Body Slam, uh, Crunch. Uh, let's see. Wouldn't, re re wouldn't really recommend Dragon Tail. We have Earthquake, which could be really nice. There's Fire Fang for the Steel uh, Grass types or anything in general that's like four times weak, like Scizor. Uh, let's see. It gets Head Smash. So yeah, it's like typically you don't see a physical Hydreigon, but you could definitely throw some people off. Uh, Ice Fang, uh, Rock Slide, Stone Edge, Throat Chop, for those Hyper Voice Fairy types, or any voice type moves. Uh, Zen Headbutt. So yeah, feel free to look into Hydreigon when it comes to physical or any anything in general, especially when we come across talking about uh, the Pokemon uh, move sets. Uh, next set is a choice scarf. So we are going to have the common uh, moves like Draco Meteor, uh, Dark Pulse, which is both our stabs. We have Fire Blast and the U turn. U turn really, being really good with choice scarf or potentially just outspeeding other Pokemon that are normally faster than Hydreigon um, could definitely throw them off. Of course, I think U turn gives away the choice scarf but it's still really nice to have especially since if there's a fairy type pokemon or something that can knock out hydreigon or that you know you can't one shot you can you turn out to gain that momentum switch out to something that can handle that pokemon that's in front of you and you should be good to go and yeah next set is a sub nasty so with the leftovers as well so we have Substitute, if you can set up the Substitute for the Nasty Plot. If you set up Substitute with Nasty Plot, it's actually really good. Um, typically Pokemon would switch out, so you'll be able to get a free sub depending on which Pokemon it is. You can Substitute and then you could get a free Nasty Plot behind the sub. And, you know, you Dark Pulse, Earth Power away. Um, not to mention, feel free to run Modest on some of the Timid sets. It's completely up to you. But I recommend having the Timid uh, nature. If you want more power, then run Modest with like Fly, Max Speed, or that one berry that boosts your uh, speed. This also gets like Dual Wing Beat, which is also a physical move, I believe. Yeah, it gets Fly. And stuff like that but yeah feel free to do that uh, we have dark pulse being our stab and earth power uh, pretty much covering most of the things that hydreigon can hit um, so it's like if I ran the uh, Draco meteor or you have the option to run Draco meteor if you want just full-on stab that is one of the sets and then for the next set, we have a doubles, which I thought was pretty cool, but not common enough to run in doubles, especially when it comes to ranked, since there's a lot of fairies, uh, Cinderace running around, like the Togekiss, uh, Hat Rini, and any, or Dragapult too. Dragapult's actually really fast and strong, so I don't think Hydreigon can hang, but uh, we have Tailwind for support. It can learn Tailwind. We have Beat Up, which is really cool to support Pokemon with the ability Justified, which increases their attack if they get hit with a Dark type. So with Beat Up, all healthy allies aid in damaging the target. So when you use Beat Up on a Pokemon with Justified, 
it'll hit it four times and it'll get a four times attack boost which is actually really cool so like terekion cabalion lucario i know there's a lot of people who've seen the whimsicott uh whimsicott lucario shenanigans um i think galade learns or has a justified as well but galade is not one of those common pokemon that can um that are used in uh ranked too many weak too many common weaknesses for some of these pokemon that's why you don't really see them often being used but yeah we have snarl uh heat wave i mean i wouldn't really say it's viable but it's something that can throw off people uh we have wise glasses to give us a little bit of uh, special offense i guess and i forgot to mention the ability for hydreigon is only levitate so we're going to be immune to ground and i believe levitz i don't remember now <laughs> I don't remember if Levitate is immune to like rocks, but nonetheless, if it is immune to um, rocks, it also gets the uh, defog. So feel free to give it that. Uh, it also defog got buffed this gen, which I wasn't aware till today. But you get minus one invasion on the opponent and clears terrain and hazards on both sides, and also defog gets rid of uh, screens, which is actually really cool. The defog is actually really good now. Um, but yeah, next set is kind of a set I just made up. I don't know if it's used anywhere, but I kind of just looked at it and I was like, wait, Hydreigon learns Hyper Voice. Let's give it Throat Spray. So yeah, it it can learn Throat Spray, raising holder special attack by one stage after use of a sound move, and that is Hyper Voice. The cool thing about Hyper Voice is that it also goes through a Substitute. Uh, depending if it's if it's a ghost type then no but uh, it can go through sub and you'll get the increase in special attack that same turn you use hyper voice and you'll be able to just go for dark pulse flash cannon flamethrower want to get rid of fl flash cannon for dragon pulse or uh, draco meteor feel free to do so but that just means throw spray is gone so i would probably run uh dragon pulse but more power to you if you use uh, Draco Meteor. Uh, some of the other things that Hydreigon can learn and can do, um, special offensive wise, is uh, we covered Earth Power. We also covered uh, Flash Cannon, Flamethrower. It can learn Focus Blast, but I don't really see Focus Miss being an option here. I don't. I don't know. I, I feel like I, I wouldn't trust Hydreigon with Focus Blast. I'd rather just go with my luck with Draco Meteor. Uh, but yeah, it could also learn Head Smash. We talked about Heat Wave. Hydro Pump is a new thing. Um, well, not a new thing, but I've seen Max Geyser Hydreigon being used. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, we talked about Nasty Plot. There was something else on here that it can get. Uh, it gets Roar, Rock Slide. It gets Roost as well. Roost can be something that you can incorporate. Uh, Stone Edge, we talked about Sub, Superpower, Surf. Surf is another one. You could pair it up with, in doubles, with like a Storm Drain or Dry Skin, uh, Heliolisk. Kind of like in a rain team. So yeah, I guess it doesn't do too bad in a rain team. But yeah, you can set up the um, Max, um, Max Geyser with the rain. We have... Tailwind, we have Taunt. I've seen Taunt Hydreigon. And then Throw Trap to get rid of like sound moves. We have Thunder Wave. I've seen Thunder Wave used a few times as well. Uh, Toxic, Try Attack, U Turn, Zen Headbutt, uh, and so on. Anything else that you think might look interesting? But yeah, thank you guys for watching. That it pretty much covers the Hydreigon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know again in the comment section below how you run the Hydreigon or what Pokemon I should cover next. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.